Bijigo Fund Management is the proven solution covering the entire life cycle of fund management, including onboarding of departments, configuring schemes, and budget heads. Digigov is directly integrated with PFMS for e-payments, digitizing payments with real-time and 100% payment reconciliation. These are the total modules which will be present in Digigov. The initial process involved in the Digigov fund management system is clearly depicted in this slide, which involves initial smooth onboarding with the configuration of service catalog. Then comes the role of admin and planner where necessary roles will be assigned and fund will be planned and allocated from the planner ID. Makeover initially registered the vendor in DigiGov, which will be automatically validated from the PFMS. Then maker can disburse the payments. Necessary reports are already present in the DigiGov and MIS dashboard for analysis. This is role of the maker. Maker will be the first step for initiating the transaction. Validating vendors, beneficiaries will be registered initially. After vendors or beneficiaries got validated, then maker can initiate the transaction. There are other modules present like settlements and reports, which will be used for managing advance and liability settlements and for viewing reports. After initiating transaction, Maker will forward the file to the verifier. Verifier will check and ensure that the transaction created is correct or not by viewing the attachment and give his share of inputs in the notes section further recommending or not recommending it. Then it is forwarded to approver. Then comes the role of approver. Approver as well can view the file, notes and attachments of Maker and view the notes of verifier and see in recommendations for the transaction and give his share of attachment and approve the while via OTP approval. Now let's see how to operate on the DigiGov. This is the login screen. One must put the credentials and log into the software as per the roles assigned to him or her. This is the dashboard which displays how much budget and funds are allocated, expenditure done till date and expenditure which is in progress. In this screen, there are three menu options, vendor management, salary management and manage fund disbursement. First step is registering vendor. Click vendor management. Click on Manage Vendor pending with PFMS. Click on Add Vendor. Vendor will be of four types, personal, commercial, institutional, and NGO. All red asterisks mark indicates for mandatory fields. Put the vendor details, address, and bank details, then click on Add. Vendor registered successfully, it will be automatically validating the vendors from PFMS. Further, pay, further the payments can be initiated. Upload the vendor data, which is for registering in bulk. This is the bulk upload vendor file. You can add vendors and register in bulk up to 1000 from a single file. This is the screen. After downloading the template, open and fill for bulk vendor registration and then upload it. This is the salary management screen where one can give salaries to your employees through this module. Employees should be registered same as vendor registration you have to download the template and fill the necessary details and upload it. This is the Excel template for registration payment in bulk. 
After completing vendor and salary module, click on fund disbursement for initiating transaction. Click on fund disbursement. This is the fund disbursement screen. Select financial year, entity or DDO, nature of payment for vendor or beneficiary, select vendor, select type, select payment mode as vendor selection. This is for single vendor payment and select this for bulk vendor payment. Select vendor created by me if it is created by you, otherwise select vendor if it is registered by others. It will be visible to you. You need not to create additional. Select activity, then select vendor from the vendor screen. Other fields like budget will auto populate. Adding supporting attachment is mandatory. Select tax to be deducted from the gross amount. Then click OK to validate. After validation, the file will be moved to verifier. For file pendency, the verifier or approver you can view here by clicking manage inbox from the home page then select outbox send files. Then comes the role of verifier. The file marked with red is currently pending file. Click on it. Verifier must ensure the correctness of the transaction and view the supporting attachment attached by the maker and add his share of remarks in the notes section. After adding notes, select recommend or not recommend. Save the file and click on forward button to move the file to approver. Select approver from the screen and send the file to the approver. You can see the file has moved to the approver. Click on outbox send file from home page to view the file pendency with the approver. Approver is the last step for completing the transaction. Click on file marked with red as it shows the file pending with you. Approver can see notes of maker and verifier and add his share of remarks as notes section. Approver can view the maker supporting attachment file here. After checking the correctness of the transaction initiated by maker and verifiers, Recommendation, he or she can approve the transaction by adding approvers attachment, which is mandatory. After attaching the file, click on approve. Then after successfully OTP approval, the transaction will be approved. As you can see, the transaction has got approved. The file marked with green are approved files. This ends the training for maker, verifier and approver. You can view this training video as many times for taking good understanding of the application. Thank you.